What is up YouTube? I'm back with another PvE build for the Deadlands. I'm on my Magicka Necromancer this time with the exact same setup like on my Magicka Blade. The only change is Slimecore Mask instead of Light Armor since we already have Max Penetration on Necro and one Medium Armor piece gives Spell Damage and Crit. So I'm with 5 Barzais, 1 Slimecore, 1 Harpunus Wailing Killed and Kinra's front bar, back bar still the mulch with further stuff, what else? Trades, full divines on the body, full bloodthirsty on the jewelry, two daggers for extra crit rate, one in nirn and one in charged, with the flame damage enchantment here and one with the poison damage enchant, back bar, like always, the berserker glyph in infused, nothing has changed here. You can put an Inferno Kidneras here if you want, but Daggers are definitely better in terms of DPS, gives 3 to 4k more. Alternative setups still Ceroria, Mother Sorrow, or Medusa. Diamond's Victory Front Bar is still viable, even advancing Yukida. If you don't have access to Mythic items, just use Kjalna as Monster Set, it deals a ton of damage. It's a good alternative to mythic items. I used a full dot rotation. If you prefer spammable, just de-slot degeneration for scouts here. But a full dot rotation for static fights are definitely better in terms of DPS. I'm still with Avid Boneyard for the Grave Robber synergy. It needs a ton of damage. Use it. Stocky Blast Bones. Degeneration as dot. Detonating Siphon. It's better than the Magicka Morph and it costs nothing. Inner Light for Max Magicka and Magicka Recovery. Front Bar, just a Flawless Stormbreaker slotted for extra spell damage, thanks to the Fighter Skill Passive Slayer. Back Bar Mystic Orb, Unstable Wall of Fire, Barb Trap for Minor Force, Scalding Rune and Skeletal Arcanist as ultimate shooting star. You can also put the Destro ultimate here if you want. With Medusa, you can put out Barb Trap for something else, like a Shield for example, or even the Ghost if you need healing. It's up to you. Race, I'm Dark Elf. It's a bit better than Khajiit now, but Khajiit is also fine. Mundus the Thief as a good weight. Ghastly Eyeball as buff food in raids. I recommend to use the Max Magica and Max HP food. Or even the green Max Magica food. 64 points in Magica. And potions, like always, the spare power potions with Magica, Sorcery and Prophecy. CPs, Blue Ones, Master Arms, Biting Aura, Tamoturge and Backstabber, Rejuvenation, Fortified, Boundless Vitality and Siphoning Spells. If you can't flank the enemy, just deslot Backstabber for Fighting Finesse here. In terms of rotation, nothing has changed, the exact same rotation like in the previous page, I will link you the explanation in the description below. Check it out. Now enjoy the pass.
that's it guys we have another pve build for the dead ends next one will be up soon in one or two days probably a stamina chart again check out all of my other pve and pvp builds for the deadlands i will link them in the description below don't forget to sub my channel leave a like and a comment i would really appreciate it, guys i wish you all a fantastic day and i'll see you hopefully in the next video ciao